Hey guys, Zach Uack here, back with another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be learning how to be making something very cool. A teleporter that teleports you from one place in your game to another. To make this teleporter, we are going to be using Roblox's C-Frame. This teleporter can be used in many, many different games. And the cool thing is, the teleporter can be used for so many different things. It can teleport you to a specific room. It can teleport you just normally from A to B or it can teleport you to the lobby of a game or even to a part of a story. And keep in mind that this teleporter only allows actual players through, not NPCs like zombie. So open up Roblox Studio and let's start programming. Okay, so first, obviously, we're gonna make the models for our teleporter. So we're gonna get a cylinder and we're gonna scale it. to something like this. Yeah, that should be good. We're gonna call this base A. And as the name suggests, this will be the base for our teleporter A. Now we're gonna duplicate this part using control D and we're gonna scale it just a little. To make this on top of our base A. And we're gonna rename this part that we created to pad A. And this pad A is where we're gonna step on to get teleported. Okay, to make this look a little more futuristic like a teleporter, we're gonna change the color to this green and change the material to neon. There, I think this looks pretty cool. And now let's group these two parts using control G. And we're going to name the model teleporter A. Okay, now it's time to make teleporter B. What we're going to do is literally copy and paste this. Drag it to where we want it to be. And then we're going to rename all these parts with a B. There you go. And now we can group these two teleporters together using control G. And we're going to name this model teleporter. Okay, now we're ready to start scripting. Go into our teleporter, click the plus and select script. We're gonna delete the default code and we're gonna start off with a few variables. These first two lines are just referring to our pads, and this line is referring to Roblox's player service, which is basically us playing the game. Now we can make the function. Here we're gonna write Now this right here stands for a humanoid root part. So basically if the humanoid touches our pad, then it's gonna find the parent of it, which is gonna be the player. And now we're gonna write if HRP then. So basically if the humanoid root part touches our pad A, then it does this. Now, this line of code basically means that when our player touches pad 
A and is going to move the player using C frame to the position of pad B and then we're going to add 3 in Y to that position so that the player doesn't get stuck inside the part but instead he lands above the part. Okay, last but not least, we're going to call the function. Now we're ready to test it out. So when we step on this teleporter, it should teleport us to here. As you can see, this works. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like and subscribe to never miss out on a Roblox Studio tutorial. Bye.